All right, today we are talking about this awesome towing compound setup for your third gen 5.9 Cummins. Okay, so this turbo kit consists of your stock HE341 or HE351 turbo, and we pair it with the BorgWarner SXE472 or the BorgWarner SXE476. On my particular truck, I've been running the 472 for about a year, and it's just been really good. I first ran it for about eight months with just the stock fueling capacity. I had a good tune on it, a five position tune, but the stock CP3, stock fuel injector, stock lift pump, only tuning. And that was a reliable 550 horsepower and it towed amazing. I actually took a video, I had my wife take a video of me in the night, we were towing my camper up a hill. So I had to record it so you guys could kind of get some real world testing, you could see how it works. So check it out. All right guys, we're gonna do a little real world testing. It's 1 a.m. in Utah. I'm headed back from the super fun roller coaster park of Lagoon. My kids are asleep in the back seat and we are going up the steepest hill on I-15 I know. We're going up Scipio Grade. Pulled my big camper. Probably can't see it back there, but it's a big old nasty camper. So it's not a lightweight thing. It's actually quite heavy. So I wanted to see what kind of boost it takes to go up this hill. We're doing 76 miles an hour. Particular hill gets the worst at the very tip top. It seems to get the hottest. So we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm in level four, which is pretty aggressive. Just want to see. Right now we're about 48 pounds of boost. What I'm saying about 1219 degrees. This peaks out at 39, but I have a mechanical gauge over here. So right now we're about 46, 47 pounds of boost. Uh, maintaining just 1210 degrees. So that's awesome. 76 miles an hour. Right this up at the top of the hill, like I said, a very tip top, kind of gets the worst. Uh, just a little, as you climb, it gets hotter and hotter, so we'll see. Right now, engine temperature is 222. Fan is on. We're up to 1265 on the uh, heat, so we're getting warmer. Like I said, a wind 1270, we're at 50 pounds of boost now. We're climbing the hill 50 pounds of boost, 1275. Now, on the dial on this stock, stock tube, we got this in our 1400 degrees with stock tuning. So with the uh, better piston cooling, these things can handle a lot more heat. But to go 12 out, but we're back down to 1230, so we're going to see if we get hot again here. 1227, 20, on engine temperature. It's only at 70 degrees outside, so it's, it's okay towing. Uh, I mean, it's not too hot, so you know, that's pretty nice. So far, so good. 1285, that's the hottest so far. 51 pounds of boost. 1291. This is the worst part of the hill right here. So this is about it's about 1282. 230 on ancient temps. Let's get up there, but please let's take it. 1290. So we never hit 1300 degrees with this setup. So anyway, this is about as a real world test as you're gonna get. Put the test is the dyno. We just pulled that whole entire hill 76 miles an hour, never lost any speed, maxed out at 1290 degrees, 50 pounds of boost for the whole pull. Uh, engine temps got up to about 230. Uh, this will click, uh, get a warning light about 245 or so. So, anyway, worked really good. That was your real, <laughs> it's a bright light. That was your real world test. I hope you enjoyed it. After I was satisfied that these turbos could handle anything the stock fuel system could throw at them, I was really curious how they would respond to bigger fueling. So I put in a 12 millimeter stroker CP3 pump. I put in some big injectors, an air dog lift pump, and I wanted to see how hard I could push these things. And the power jumped dramatically. If you remember, I did a video a while ago with this truck doing some nice rolling burnouts. It was amazing. They, they peaked about oh, 60 pounds of boost and uh, the power was huge, a, a solid 200 horsepower jump. These, this is a 700, 750 horsepower setup all day long and still could tow amazingly well even with that bigger fuel system. I will say with the bigger fuel system, the EGT was a little bit higher as would be expected. So if you want just an amazing tow rig, you may consider leaving the stock fuel injectors or not going quite as crazy as I did. But these will handle well over 700 horsepower to the ground and tow amazing. Um, a few things on this, particular set is, for one, 
I wanted to ceramic coat the pipes. I don't like the rust. I don't like them to, to get nasty. So the hot pipe and down pipe are all ceramic coated. They can handle the heat. They should last for a good long time. And the brace. We have some bracing on here that's I love. Personally, I think a lot of kits overlook the importance of a good brace for the, for the big turbo. So this one works really well. And honestly, you could sit on this thing. It won't move. It's incredibly strong. And uh, I've been real happy with this particular turbo. And I like the placement of this turbo. I love seeing the big turbo up top. When I open my hood, it just looks awesome. So this kit works really well for those guys looking up to about 750 horsepower. Also works great on stock fueling. It has plenty of fuel to drive these turbos very efficiently. And it works awesome. All right, so one of the major hurdles that we had overcome with this system, and probably anybody has to the third gen system, is this coolant pipe right here. This little stem here is right in the way of this downpipe on the stock setup. So we had to actually make a whole new piece here, which we did so we could get this thing out of the way of the downpipe. And now with this piece here, it makes it really easy to install this kit. So this is the kit that we're offering for third gen Cummins. This is the first kit we're offering. We're gonna offer some more in the future. I really wanted to get our feet wet with this guy here and it works really well. So uh, anyway, if you are looking for ultimate towing performance in your third gen Dodge, looking for amazing spool up with big power capacity, this is a great way to get it. It works awesome. Uh, I would recommend head studs with this kit, even with stock fueling, I think it's a good idea. Unless you keep your tuning very mild, which you can do. Otherwise, I would recommend a set of head studs with this kit. Uh, don't have to do anything fancy beyond that, but it works really well. So. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions about this, give us a call here at the shop. We want to make sure it's the right turbo for what you're doing. And, uh, yeah, thanks a lot, guys. We will see you next time.